Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, some more CK2, as, uh, well for right now, King Haraldr, the Brute of Afar, and, um, uh, I suppose as a, as a more general sort of thing, the uh, Norse in Africa campaign, or well, the Norse Africa campaign, um, last time I changed to the Myophysite religion, and converted a whole bunch of vassals to that religion too. Uh, you might be wondering, well, General, was that the greatest idea, I mean, all things considered? Because, uh, as some of you may or may not know, you now lose the CBs, right? Because you had a religious CB, well, you didn't have a religious war CB against them, but you had a, like, a um, pagan conquest CB against them. You, you lost that now. Was that the, the best possible decision? No. That's, that's absolutely not, and I'm not interested in making the best possible decision. And the reason I switched is because it would be a little bit too easy. I could realistically plow through most of this way too quickly. And uh, CB's just too good, right? CB's just too good. Because just right-click on these great vassals. They can't call in allies because it's not a religious CB. You know, doing this now forces me to push the Muslims, um, which, I mean, these guys are now, co are now collaborating. The Abbasids are flipping huge. The Safarid are bloody huge too. There is, uh, there is. I mean, there's this CB, the Ducal Conquest now, which you lose two fifty piety and a bunch of gold when you do it. So it's like strictly worse, but it's way better than the Border Dispute. So you know. So it's both good and bad, I suppose. And then the worst part of the Holy War CB in this particular situation, usually it's a fantastic CB, right? Um, I'll get to the CB in a second. I just want to say, by the way, I um, somehow managed to like cut my lip yesterday, or burn it or something like on the inside, and it hurts like hell when I talk for like prolonged sentences. So I need to like do that. You know how the actually, there's I have a bit about it. Uh, you know how the Joker in uh, The Dark Knight licks his scars all the time? Uh, that's actually the, the um, Heath Ledger turned it into like a quirk of the Jokers. And um, now the reason is the, the mask kept like falling off and he needed to keep, he needed to keep it like there and uh, he needed to keep um, some spit on it to, to, to stop the, the entire like fake skin thing from falling off. Um, but he turned it into a quirk and um, yeah, but yeah, I'm basically doing that. So uh, essentially, yeah, do you wanna do you wanna know how I got this scar? Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is in the most embarrassing way. You see, my father he was um, a drinker. Um, actually, still is. Uh, it's, it's not none of that is actually true. But it is a phenomenal fucking movie. Um, like I say, it, it was a little bit too easy. I wanted to to hit the brakes a little bit, you know, because I could attack this kingdom. And part of it is because I started as a stupidly strong character, and the event sport troops aren't even a factor anymore. I yeah, for the first two quests, and maybe they buy you a little bit of time, but event sport troops aren't. They're not important, but uh, yeah. Plus, they weren't that good between me and you. Far better to have 3,000 men of like the mixed variety here than 3,000. And we have like a stupid amount of heavy infantry. All right, we have 1.7k. Heavy infantry, 700 light infantry, uh, three archers though, see, that is abysmal. So, if I wanted to, to, you know, compensate for that, I'd go to retinues, hire this retinue, eventually, and have like the most powerful army I could possibly have, but. Uh -uh. Wife's pregnant again, I keep putting. Ones in the bun, right? As it were. I tell you what, though. I am a little bit insane. I'm not that insane yet, though. Hold up. I get the personal study because you can do tech and and stuff with it. <laughs> do tech and stuff, yes. Not tech and stuff. Tech and stuff. Uh, I think Amsha might fancy me. Ooh. Sure, I'll, I'll make you my little bit. Here's the thing. Here's the 
thing. I had this, uh... Sophia, Asa, Astral Horror. Ooh, twins! Sure, lovely. Um, many, many children, yes? Not that many, I, I, I've, I've been known to fill this tab out, so... So it's actually kind of annoying that, it, that it's this small. I wish you could, I could drag this over here a little bit, or like there, and that that would help. Probably a mod for that. I'll I'll, I'll look into it maybe later. But um, now I, I had this this idea. I I literally just had this idea. What if we play like a religiously turbulent nation? Do you know what I mean? Because because that, that that's how I'm sort of feeling. Now, conventional wisdom is pick one and stick with it for, like, a myriad of reasons I don't want to go into, but they're fairly, fairly, um, straightforward rebellions, both of the vassal and the peasant variety, pretty much. Um, but, you know, what if we say sod that, and after, like, 4,000 plus hours of CK2... Delve in a little bit of a, a little bit of a non-orthodox um, and not everyday type of stuff, and that's, I have done this too. Here's the thing: I've done everything in CK2, more or less. So I've pretty much, I've, I've literally pretty much done everything that I I could possibly think of. I've formed every de jure empire you see here. Several times, apart from Mali, I think I never, I played with Mali, but I don't think I conquered the world with Mali ever. That's that's like a thing to do. That's on the list. Like Bengal, Deccan, Rajasthan. Once, don't really like playing Indian nations that much. I like playing in India. This is phenomenal. I don't like playing Indians. Um, or yeah. Indo-Aryan, yes, I, I don't like playing those. Or the Dravidian, or the Indo-Aryan again, whatever, D don't like any of them. Uh, play with Byzantine, like, I, I yearly, I restore the Roman Empire, like, once a year, I'm pretty sure, for the, like, since the game was released. Pretty sure I do that once a year. It's like, it's, it's almost like a little ritual thing at this point. But like I said, like I've done pretty much everything in CK2. This is an interesting situation, by the way. The heir is uh, Shia the Legion Sunni. That could be fun if we can kill him, but we can't. Like, not really. He's from China. No, it's far away. It's actually not that far away. We can interact with the with the emperor, and I will send him Unix concubines and tribute and um. Bleh. Let me try again. And prisoners, because uh, I want artifacts from him. Like, nothing else, I just want artifacts. Imperial marriage, eh. Maybe. Maybe just for the prestige. And not the, the points prestige, the sort of personal feeling of prestige. But, uh, eh, I don't think so. Oh, I can, I can do this, right? Uh, yes, I can. Ooh, tell you what. I told you that, uh... First of all, I'm a little bit crazy. Second of all, I told you that it's not a disaster to lose these wars, nor is it a disaster to uh, submit to the enemy and crush him from the inside out and take over his, his empire. And I'm going to try and prove that now by uh, declaring a rather stupid war and praying to whatever I currently hold dear and holy, because, I, like I said, I'm going to change that quite a few times. That, uh, a nice tick, that, uh, this'll do. I do want to lead the center. Not really. Um, Abdul? What? Because you were born, you were born to a lover, right. Call you... Abdul, sure. Now, what do I do with this child? Do I... I mean, you're not going to be happy, are you? Do I legitimize him? I kind of want to legitimize him. 
So like acknowledgement is mine is not very good. Right? It's it's not. I don't wanna watch Oh, I kinda do though. It's gavel kind. I I'll acknowledge him as mine. This <laughs> is it's again probably the worst of, out of the the options, but you don't put him in the succession line unless the other two die. Which, considering the number of diseases in this game nowadays, uh, you know, worst idea in the world to have a bunch of backups. Damn, I should have named him backup. That would have been good. We could borrow money from the Jews for this war, and uh, grab like some mercs or something. Yeah, it would be perfect. We could buy the, the Nubian band or something. Lots of light infantry, but it doesn't matter. You have archers. Good. And we'll win the war. Or I could pray to RNG Jesus. RNG Jesus. It's mountains, right? No. Can't do anything. Do I just siege? Is that the thing? You just counter siege one another? Alright, I'm better at sieging than you are. I think. Not by much. I think. Not true. You're actually way better at sieging than I am. Oh, it's because the they they have no garrison, yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm going to expel those Jews anyway in a matter of moments, so... Sure, give me your money. Give me the Nubian band. Keep an eye on those finances. You don't want to do that. Right? And this is kind of stupid because probably that, that's probably the best fight for them to take. And I like, have a realistic, though tiny, but realistic chance of winning that fight. Another 800 men, that's... There's like support coming from all over the place, and I sort of just gambled that these guys wouldn't... wouldn't the episodes all these guys wouldn't get involved with the war, and... You know, I was right, so... Do you not attacking the mountains? Look, with this amount of men, yeah. Watch me just eat my words. No, we broke wrong. Okay, that's it. Yep, that's it. Uh, focus on heavy infantry, because we have plenty of those. We actually have a stupid amount of those. Let me, let me check. Uh, can you see them? From here? Uh, I think you can see it from here. Whatever. We have a, I know we have a stupid amount of heavy infantry. I'll ransom you your dude back, because I have no need of him. So what I do have a need of is my... castles. I'd like to take those back, please. Oh, and by the way, you're fucked. <laughs> Ooh, you can't afford the ransom, really? I was kind of hoping, because you, you would provide a substantial amount of stuff for the war effort. Oh, hold on. You're independent. Sit in my jail, and, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll declare war on you in a second. Are you still in the... Ah, I have to release him. Okay. Let's ban everyone. Um, there you go. Let's say you win the uh, religious war against Muslims in what is effectively Muslim town. Or Su against the Sunni in what is effectively Sunni town. Apart from these two, but officials, the, the, the vassals and the, the, the rulers are uh, Sunni, so the, the populace doesn't really count to all intents and purposes. Like so. Um, so you're gonna be, you're gonna sit still for a while. Can't attack. Ooh, I can attack you for Hijaz. See, this this is a huge, uh, this is a huge duchy, and doing this will, uh, it will, yeah, <laughs> it'll set us straight. All right. It's not just the amount of land, which is... Some of it is really good, some of it is okay. Like, these two are black, right? Up here is pretty good. These two are meh. But uh, it's the fact that three of these are actually coastal. And uh, we like coastal because of boats. As you can see. 
Fair enough, right now we can't raise any boats, but um, we want to, like I said, we want to assemble boats in this general area and then start plundering India for what it's worth, which is quite a lot. And probably like up here a little bit too, right? Because uh, I'm pretty sure like one of these is pretty rich. Eh, no, actually these are, these are all pretty poor, so it's pretty much just India. Well, still, whatever. Uh, decent income, minus, minus 9, eh? No, no, it's actually plus 9 because we no longer have expenses. So it's pretty decent income. We can create the duchy, uh, but we need some gold. Wow, we need actually just find a little bit of gold. Oh, please, man. So I, I just ended the war. Could you not? Maybe? I don't know. You're like, please not? 2,000. What's the levy here like? 240. Uh, small kitty's demanding attention. Um, I'll take the fat cat. That's pretty good. You rest in heaven. It'll give me stressed. But stress is not that bad, especially with a pet kitty. Because cats reduce stress. Fact. Scientific, even. I could get a load of this. Uh, no, don't have like, obligate the vassal. It never ends well. There's no reason to. Get a load of this. Because it's personal levy, I can hire it right on the spot. It starts with max morale. And it's just enough to push me over the, uh, the thing for... for whoa. What happened? I clicked on the map. Just enough to push me over the limit. And, uh, you know what? You can die. Be crater. Yeah, talk about religious instability. You're gonna keep seeing that. Very often. <laughs> okay, this duchy though. Ties. I can't read the final letter. Ties, okay. You get all of that. I uh, actually get the, the place next to it too. There you go. All yours. Uh, I'll make the duchy because it gives me a free CB, right? Actually, two of them, yeah. There you go. Actually, give you the entire duchy. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> You're not a king yet. Don't. don't. <laughs> That's close. Do not mess with that though. You're not a king yet. No, eventually, but, but not yet. Ooh, I have a horse against you. Calm down, don't you? You're, you're at like less than half of your uh, your levy. Calm down. I know, I know. I'll, uh, I'll calm down. I'll rest when I'm dead, though. That's, uh, that's, that's what the character said. 24 years old. I think by the time I'm 35-ish, I think I want to build my own kingdom. Mmm, though maybe not. It's not that difficult to build Yemen. Kingdom of Yemen, at least. I need a couple of more, uh... Uh... Patriot? Dawit of has excommunicated at the behest of the king. Really? Well, I'm gonna get war on me now. Is that it? You filthy bastards, is that it then? You come at me, I'm ready for you. Oh, really? I'm not actually ready for them. Excommunicate me, will ya? What if we just grab Sunni right now, eh? <laughs> what if we become the Sunni Vikings, eh? I say that with laughter, but that's actually a good idea. <sighs> no, I, I said no. Because. Like, here's the reason it's a bad idea. It limits options quite a bit. Far from it that the Sunni... No, far from the fact that the Sunni, uh... Like, 
I don't know, can't declare war on one another or some bullshit like that. So that's not true. They they can. Oh, Dragon Ball, but there's like a penalty in piety. <laughs> to piety. And <laughs> to the penalty. It's, it's nothing. Um, like that. I have 630 piety from like doing nothing in, in a year or so. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of want to change faith just because I've been, uh, I've been excommunicated. Like, you know what I mean, church? Fine. I'll switch over. Da! I'll leave it for now. Tell me, you know, yeah, well, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's let's get like from you guys, because this is not like a, this is not like a intense in terms of interactions. In terms of language, even the form of effect, I owe you a favor. Sure, as long as we do this right after. Ah, uh, yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah, here's the thing. Uh, tell me. Tell me what religion you, you'd like me to, to go with. And I'll probably flip later down the line again, but tell me. Because uh, I'm not sure... And I think it'd be fun to sort of just experiment a little bit with, like, multiples. So I'll keep this for now, because I'm going to fight Sunnis mostly. And have a sense of, uh, bravado, really. Like, honestly, it is. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. It's, it's like... Castle walls far more important than, than any of that. Four heavy and three pip. Eight smiles upon me while my wife is pregnant. Again. Uh, centralization, yeah. Get that up there. Sure, I'm so chance to get diligent? Oh, why not? Oh, I don't know. Want to lift my excommunication? No. Where are you? Yeah. Um, the landless, landless cycle, right? Correct. Well, in that case, have my levies sweat a little bit more. Mm, be safe, like a little bit more. Age twenty-six. So yeah, like, like I'll keep it for this episode. Ooh, money. And I think that's like a horribly cocky way to do it, but I think it's also kind of fun. We keep we we can change it like on a every few episodes. Like that that'd be hilarious, stupid, and hilarious. But we could do it. Is my guy training levies here? Yeah, it is. Could you train them faster? Look, it's a very Simple. I need people to go and die for me. Nothing more, nothing less. You've collected attacks twice in like the same month. Garden is stupidly good. Garden gets rid of stressed. That's not, it doesn't necessarily. It has a good chance of getting 
Well, my son's this Dag, right? I, 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 I kind of want to name him Dan after Dan Giesling, but... Eh. Alright. Click until I find one I like. Arnie, sure. Did I just call him Maria? Oh, I, I called her Maria because they're twins again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, you can be Maria. Say that. For you. I think like Faith. You're last in line for succession. I don't count on you being anything good. For you, like, uh, struggle, right? Yeah. Be a good leader. I should buff this stuff because trade is uh, trade is decent, right? It's coming from here, yeah. And this is the Silk Road, so like here's the thing: Silk Silk Road is as good here as it is back here, pretty much. So, yeah. Oh, that'd be a challenge. Own all the provinces that the Silk Road goes through. That would be fun to do. Because it's not just a sheer amount of land, which is huge. It's like the different different types of land. Ah, taking all the nomad land there will be damn near impossible. Like you take everything else and then leave the nomads for last. It's expensive. It's not that it's even that difficult. I mean, it kind of is, but... It's expensive because you need like two holdings. You need to build two holdings on top of the stuff you conquer. Um, to stop it from flipping back when when you die. Yeah, if you die. You can do it as an immortal, but you can do anything as an immortal, so. I've been thinking about playing as that too, for, uh, instead of this. Like, I could do it an immortal because. Well. Do it like that, and then we can transfer that over to EU4, maybe, if, if it's fun. Because the trade transfer's over, right? So we can do that, and if that goes relatively well, and we don't play too much of it, and we don't, like, expand too much, we can, uh... We can go... Maybe, like, maybe into Stars. Really? I've been maimed? PCS 5. PCS 1. I've been maimed. I'm disfigured now. Is that like a health penalty? No. This is, but this goes away. Disfigured. In a battle I'm winning, in a battle where they're missing a commander slot. Fair enough, mountains, but fuck your mountains. Souls. I am a, I'm a multilingualist. That's what it's called, I'm sure. Beat the snot out of his army. Yes, I'm aware I'm being sieged down there. That's fine. I've got a strong sense of deja vu after saying that for some reason. Alright, go and murder him. Siege this out. We'll go back and, and take that stuff back when we, uh... When we grab a hold of this. Uh, well, I think I'll just, like, one holding would be enough. I'll get legalism up, because we need to change the laws eventually. Not before we become a kingdom, but... Doesn't really matter, right? But now it's manageable. It's more difficult when you have more children, and it's, like, later in the game. But for now it's okay because we just murder all our brothers when uh, when this guy dies. This get really infection. Oh, so I'm dead. Okay. Uh. That was unfortunate. It's all fuck. Honestly, there's like a a, a, a two percent chance. It's not realistic. Really Chances. But there's like a minimal chance that you get maimed. Well, there's a minimal chance you get anything in combat. Any type of injured. 
And furthermore, there's a very minimal chance to get severely injured. And furthermore, there's a very, very, very small chance that the wound gets infected. And now there's a high chance that of me dying, even with the pet cat. It's like, you keep bringing up the pet cat. Look, it's health plus one. That's like a full, it's not health plus 0. 0.5, it's, it's health plus one. That's a significant health. And there's a health minus two, so it's like half, the, the cat compensates for half the infection. It's problem is the infection stacks with the... Uh, I assume the engine's gone, but the infection stays there until I die. It's, it's gonna be horrible. Do I want to beat my future self out of anger? Gains wounded, gains stressed. 70% chance of it having no effect. But he will be angry. And may gain haughty. Does it work with the uh, struggle? Rather immortal. Fucking brooding. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just take a prestige hit from my own son. Attack now, charge, die. Turns out I'm a horrible military leader when it comes to RNG. Like, on paper, I'm the best military leader since Julius fucking Caesar. But, unofficially, via the RNG gods, I am actually the actual absolute worst. Once we get, like, injured again over here. God, that will be something. Okay, I won. Fuck off. It cost me half my face, but I've won. It's all mine now. You're Shia. I kind of like you. Let's invite him to a private feast with my disgusting, disfigured face. <sighs> Let's go here. So what can I do to get Ultimate Genitor because that one's easier to get? Late feudal administration, imperial administration, not gonna happen. Uh, primogenitor. No, actually, elective monarchy is, I think, the easiest to get. Yep, we can get it right now. No vassal has a native opinion of you. Oh, pff, that's not happening. Ah, uh, it might. It just might. Let's, um... Uh... Well, first of all, you're fired. You're hired. You're not a vassal, so sod you. Um, get proof keeps, I think. Do I have any minor titles to give out? Uh, that's just like not really. Okay, I have gold though. Gold buys happiness. Not gonna lose conversion. Ah, there we go. So a little bit of gold. Not gonna lose conversion. No. Invite him to cruising. He doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to come. You make things stupidly difficult for no apparent reason whatsoever. He'll increase his opinion of you by twenty-eight. Okay, I think I know how to bring it up. Well, is it really that important? Yes, yes it is. Yes it is, trust me. Trust me when I tell you, yes it is. You won't mind if I, you know, put him there. I mean, you're gonna hate me a little bit, but... I need to get this done. Like, right now. Because I'm gonna die from the infected wound. And I would very much like for my son... Doug to inherit me. Ganupa's really good too. Like, he's quick and strong. And he has yet to develop. However... This guy has... Oh, this guy, this kid has slightly better stats. So I'll go with him. 
Okay, next war. You? Probably, right? Uh, holy war. I don't want to use the holy war CB. Not there, that's a little bit different. That's a little bit dangerous, sorry. Here is, is a little bit different. You would join, even though I just kicked your ass. Tulamid over here. Tulamid. Tulamid. Uh, same, right? Same. Yeah, yeah, yes. Your this tributary is just. You, this guy just got in between you two. How much men? 7.6. What's our important 1.6? That's not bad. With allies, it's dangerous, but without. Save money, buy like a couple of mercs, build up a little bit more, and. It's contestable, right? You can defend against it. Attack, uh, -uh. you can defend against it. Uh, two point two k on you. With Hejaz mine, it will, or it would, turn the tide heavily in my favor in now uh, the future. But no oh, chance of that happening. I think I need to apologize for this. This is going to be Border Gore Galore. Oh, I said you just like saying Border Gore Galore. But I need to declare this war, I think. How, how many men? 3.16. It's a lot, but I can get more. Plus, your men are going to be stuck here. Unless you have boats, which there's a damn good chance that you don't. Furthermore, there's a good chance you don't know how to use them, which... Don't like bringing that up, but it's true. People are so boring, eh? Men. No. Your one particular vassal is, is, is stupidly boring, but it doesn't matter. We got around it. I've sent you to claim, to give me a claim on Varg, and it's been like, I don't know, two or three years. I expect results, my friend. Yeah, I think the, the, the real issue is I need his land, because he's Ibadi, and that unfortunately for him means that nobody's willing to support him. And I just eat all of this up. Mind you, he has 3.2k forces, which are uh, considerable, considerably... I was about to say considerably equal, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it, it sort of does in, Suke, in, in CK2. It's like equal to mine. Tell you what, though, we're going to do that next time. It's been, it's been quite a um, been quite enough for one episode. Thank you very much for watching. We've uh, changed the succession law, and everyone complaining about uh, <laughs> no, because there's one positive, one negative. Usually doesn't amount to much. I'll go with like that one. Um. Ooh, hello. Any CB on you? No. Uh, yeah, like, uh, we'll gobble up his land and then, then, then we'll see what to do. But, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, and everyone who complains about Galagine can now be quiet because I just changed it in, like, a couple of years. So, <laughs> there you go. All right, at any rate, thank you very much for watching. Like I already said, like, subscribe, download if you enjoyed the video, and we'll stay tuned with the rest of the series. Until next time, have fun, take care. Bye bye.